Snowflake Lobos find themselves in unfamiliar territory in two regards as the number 14 Lobos have to come down to Tucson to take on the third-ranked Micah Mountain Thunderbolts. Snowflake trying to play the upset or underdog in this situation for the first time in an awful long time and actually get themselves off on a really hot starter after they accept the opening kick. Snowflake winds up scoring first on a 30-yard touchdown pass that has Papa scoring, capping a 64-yard drive and giving the Lobos their first and only lead at 7-0. But the ensuing kickoff is going to be returned by Devin Hayward, 95 yards to make it a 7-7 ball game. After Snowflake's offense stalls, a 64-yard pass to Jonah Garcia is going to set up a one-yard touchdown run and give Micah Mountain a lead that it would only momentarily relinquish. At this point in the first quarter, it's 14-7. Third consecutive scoring drive is this time going to be a 25-yard touchdown pass to Jack Bradley, giving the Thunderbolts a 21-7 advantage. And at this point, it looks as if Snowflake is really back on its heels. Snowflake, though, would score after a 40-yard kickoff return by Papa. Sets up a two-yard turley run to make it 21-14. Snowflake's defense was able to get stronger, force a three and out. And then a 46-yard pass is going to find Jet McCray on a wheel route to tie it up at 21. But then, in the closing minute of the half, Snowflake finds itself in a little bit of a bad situation after a 15-yard face mask is going to allow Micah Mountain an opportunity to kick a 34-yard field goal and go into halftime with a 24-21 lead. Not a lot of scoring in the second half, but especially the 73-yard run by Handgarner is going to give Micah Mountain a 31-21 lead that it would not relinquish. Snowflake would make it close with a 35-yard field goal by Brown to make it 31-24, but the final possession is going to be an interception in the back of the end zone in the closing seconds where Micah Mountain is going to cap off a 31-24 win and will advance into the second round. Snowflake, after playing for the championship at the 4A Conference a year ago, finds its season ending after just one weekend in the playoffs. For italk1067.com, I'm Derek Palmer.